Hey YouTube, um, I'm just making a new video now because I've gotten a lot more activity on my videos, like I'm almost up to 10,000 views on my one video, so I haven't made one in about 8 months now and a lot has gone, gone on with my body mod, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been up to. So as you may or may not know, I got my eyebrow pierced like months ago now. Really like it, it didn't really hurt to get done, it's a great piercing. I just have a 16 gauge barbell with 3 millimeter balls, looks awesome. So actually yesterday I stretched my ear from a 7 16 to a half inch in here. So I have my taper through and that went okay, like I was at 7 16 for about 8 months so my ear was very well healed. However it did hurt a lot which I wasn't expecting because I thought after being at that size for so long it wouldn't hurt so much. but. You know, I didn't use tape, I just used tapers, so that might have been an issue. And I have these screw-on black eyelets, which are really nice. However, I can't really get them in my ear right now because, as you can see, they're very, very thin wearable area. And since my ear is so inflamed by the stretch, my earlobe is too thick to fit on this plug. So... I'm going to have to keep this taper in until my ear inflammation goes down, so I'm assuming about a week or so, and that kind of sucks. I did buy this pair too. It's kind of different, you know, it has uh, jewels around it. I thought it was pretty sweet, so I got that. But also, same problem happened to me when I was at 7 16 is that this has external threadings on the plug itself. So as you can kind of see here, there's little threads there. For the screw to go on and since it's on the outside it kind of adds just a little bit of room and it just doesn't want to fit in my ear so that kind of sucks um i got some pretty cool jewelry when i was at 7 16 however some unique stuff i haven't seen before i got it from bodyartforms.com very good website so the first are called uh, galaxy plugs and this is what they look like okay they're they're kind of they kind of look like galaxy like stars and pretty much what it is, is that it's a plug, right, with two flares. And it has kind of like a magnifying lens almost on the top, con convex, no, sorry, it's a concave. And it pretty much magnifies the little sparkles that they have inside. So, and I think it looks really sweet. And I haven't seen anything like that before. And also with that kind of collection, they had uh, plugs called Planet Earth Plugs too, which are pretty sweet too. Also, I don't know if I've talked about the Chaos ear skins, but these are by far my favorite plugs that I've ever owned. Um, what it does is that they're so thin around your lobe that it makes you look like you're almost a size bigger. So that's always a plus. And they're really comfortable, you know. They go in really, really easy. You just fold them up like this, and then they go in your ear and you're done. And they look really great. And these, these make your ears look a lot bigger, so I thought that was really cool. I'm still in 7 16 in my right ear only because I bought one taper thinking I could just you know put the plug through right after but I can't and I stretched yesterday and I'm th I still can't get the plug in today and it's kind of really bugging me so I don't know what I do I, I don't know what I'll do I might try again you know take a shower and try it there because I really want to get my right ear stretched but again I don't really want to mess with it because pretty crucial part about stretching is like the first week or two because that's when it's healing so if you play with it too much if you change your jewelry too much if you know you don't give it the salt soaks five minutes a day or so then it's not going to heal properly which is what happened actually at 7 16 because I went there and I didn't really take good care of it and now my ear did not heal very well as you can see it's not really a straight hole it's kind of they call it cat butthole effect and I don't really know how I got that because that usually happens when you stretch too fast but from double zero to seven sixteenths I waited about three months so I don't see how that happened but you know I've been getting a lot of questions a lot of messages and I've been trying to answer all of them but if I haven't got to you I'm sorry but I'll, I'll get to you soon and when I decide to stretch my right ear back to half inch then I will make a video on it and my whole process again on what I do with the warm salted water, with the taper, with the vitamin E oil and everything. And I can tell you how it was, but right now this half inch from 7 16 is probably the most painful stretch I've done. It's comparable to 2 to 0, but it, it really hurt.
I think I might start taping though because that helped me go to double zero, which was great, and it also helped me go to seven sixteenths. So I think that the easiest way still to stretch is with tape. Tapers are good at smaller sizes, but once you pass the zero range, even at two, I would recommend stretching to get to zero or else it hurts a lot. Cushions the blow a little bit. So if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up on YouTube. I try to answer everybody and thanks for all the subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I'll try to make a bit more videos now since I got so many viewers. I didn't know that. So thanks guys. See you next time.